In this Office 365 tip, I'd like to show you how to use at mentions and hyperlinks in emails. So, um, of course, email etiquette is, uh, is close to my heart, so doing the right things and presenting yourself well. So, uh, hi Brian, here is that um, website I told you about. And that, by the way, is thunder in South Africa, having a nice thunderstorm out there. So here's that website I told you about, um, hope it helps. So of course, I could just paste um, the hyperlink in the email, but what I am going to try and do is to rather hyperlink it. So if I right click on a word and I click on link, I can then say that this is an existing file or web page, and I can actually bring in the address here. There we go. So that's a much better way to hyperlink a website. Of course, I can also CC someone in on it. So if this wasn't mentioned uh, or meant for Brahm, I could um, say, hi, Dino. Here's a website I told you about. Hope it helps. If you need more information, please contact at Brahm. And you can do that um, for anyone on your domain and anyone in your Outlook contacts that you've used before. So that also um, puts them in the, the to address. So once you've added the other address as well, it also adds it to the to address and also makes them aware that um, you've asked for them to be notified. Um, keep in mind that you can definitely also put a hyperlink on an image. So um, I'm going to just grab an image somewhere and just uh, give you an idea. So if I had to, um, just uh, very quickly, just as an example, if I had to bring an image in on this email, um, I could also right click on this image and put a link in on it. So if I go existing file or web page, and uh, I could just add a link in on that as well. So that when people click on it, it'll actually open up as well. So you might have a little banner that says click on this banner to open the website. I hope that helps you and uh, chat soon.